On June 4, 1783, in a quiet French town called Annonay, two brothers changed the world forever. Joseph and Etienne Montgolfier, paper manufacturers by trade, launched what looked like a giant billowing bag of silk and paper into the sky. It wasn't magic, and it wasn't fiction. It was the first public demonstration of a hot air balloon. Crowds gathered, skeptical and curious. What they witnessed defied imagination. The Montgolfier balloon rose with grace and awe, reaching an estimated 6,000 feet before gently descending several miles away. It was unmanned, yes, but it was the first undeniable proof that humans could harness the air. The concept was breathtaking. Before airplanes, before helicopters, even before bicycles became mainstream, the Montgolfiers had touched the heavens with heat and fabric. Their experiment opened the door to something previously reserved for dreams and myth. Flight. The balloon itself was a marvel. Crafted from taffeta and lined with fire-resistant paper, it used simple physics. Hot air rises. Beneath it, a brazier heated the air, making the balloon lighter than the surrounding atmosphere. The idea was elegant, the execution revolutionary. News of the feat spread like wildfire. King Louis XVI soon summoned the brothers to Paris. The scientific community buzzed. Within months, animals were riding in the sky, and by November of that year, humans would follow, thanks to the Montgolfier's vision. The June 4th launch wasn't just a spectacle, it was the spark of aviation. From zeppelins to rockets, every airborne machine owes something to that quiet summer day in Anane when humans dared to lift their gaze, and then themselves, toward the clouds. The Montgolfiers weren't just inventors, they were revolutionaries of imagination. Their names may not be household words today, but their legacy lives every time a plane takes off, a satellite launches, or a dream of flight is born. Modern aerospace owes a deep debt to two papermakers who believed that heat and fabric could break the bonds of gravity. And they were right. The skies were never the same again.